this is without doubt the most important job on this car. Move it over so it doesn't hit the camera. There we go. That's even star still got its original paint on it. That's cool. Okay, so let's put that down. Okay, so that ends in. Lovely job. Still crusty bits of paint, but hey, it's TC. Welcome to a new episode. First little job is done. Well, half of it to be precise. The other half, I need to move the camera for. And actually put the bonnet arm oh, back in. That would help, wouldn't it? Okay, so... Oh, TC's going to have a shock. Going in, going in. Oh, just missed the camera. There we go. Alrighty then. Okay, lift the bonnet up a bit more and hang on, put that down. Lose the temporary strap. what we need to focus on. So it looks the camera. You see that little white grommet. Please camera stay still. So that is the remnants of the old plastic clip. So if I hit it here, will it come out? And yeah, there we go. Oh, that was crusty. Wow. Just let's reach down there. That's where it's gone. Not much left of that. There we go. Okay. The new one here and it's flanged at that end so it fits through the space there. I put a bit of grease there, not too much because yeah you know you guys probably know what I'm like by now. But grease is useful for helping things move. Uh, screwdriver Just trying where did that little screwdriver go? There he is. Left him on the wing. Okay, so I'll squeeze that one in like that. Squeeze that down. Like bidding Billy Madison, give a little tappy. So that's flat against the body. Yep, that's good. There we go. There we go. I'm not putting too much pressure on it, it's just so I can 
get it to an angle where I can actually reach it. It's actually sticking out through the metal as if it was already slightly undone. Well, that washer's free, which means I should now be able to remove the seat. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, so today, uh, what have we done? Uh, put on the little badge, which is pretty cool. I know it's not really essential, but I don't care, it's my car. Uh, done the bonnet, um, grommet and clip. So that is now working really nicely. And it's not flapping about like a flappy thing. And you've got the clip there as well. So yeah, we've done that. Uh, Vintag, new Vintag down there. Uh, we've drilled, I've drilled two new holes for that so I can go back on there uh, when the pop riveter gets back. Um, go down to the car, open the back door because the front door is close to a wall. Interior is out other than the rear bench that will come out tomorrow actually it's not a bench it's the bench back I've got to figure out how that comes out um, so yeah that seat over there was a pig as you saw in the previous part of the video I managed to do it with a croc sander good thing I've got a croc sander now um, I did notice that uh, the cross member where the seat sits that is supposed to be angled so I was looking at that one thinking it was really really bad it has got a crack in it, so it will need repair work, but I have yet to lift this carpet. This uh, seatbelt bolt does not want to move, so I'm going to give that a quick spray of WD-40 before I cover the car up, because temperature is starting to drop. And then tomorrow, I'm going to get the carpet out. The little centre console will have to come out, because the carpet goes underneath that, so that's going to have to be unscrewed, which is pretty straightforward. I've seen that in another video. And then, yeah, I can slowly draw the carpet out and have a look at the floor and see what presents itself. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope this is kind of keeping you entertained. Um, but yeah, um, oh, I love the sound of that. But yes, TC is uh, coming along slowly.
let's have a look at the uh, rust after obviously removing the trim and not yet removing the rubber mats because that I'll, I'll prop the camera up in a different location hang on let's close the door a bit um, so try and get rid of more get rid of the road noise um, okay so down in here let's solid bit of debris in there that's a channel for the wiring but obviously it's not on that side because it's on the other very solid there very clean across the top here it's all good but as you can see holes 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 and as we go further along the inner sill definitely needs replacing as you can see you can maybe be able to actually see the outside world uh, so that all this inner section I have a replacement as you've seen in one of the previous videos so uh, yeah I now need to remove if I can if it'll let me this blooming thing so I'm going to use a pair of mole grips on that and see if I can get it undone because I've used a, a 19 mil on a socket I don't have a windy gun that would have been useful um, but that has to come off uh, to make it easier to get the carpet out because there's a, there's a great big washer out there and it's probably holding the carpet down. Alright, let's see what's... One turning, two turning, three turning, excellent. Wow, it's got the original colour of the carpet there. And in the sun. I'll move out of the way. That's definitely a different kind of grey. Wow. That's a nice grey actually. Blimey. Okay. Hoping that this airbox isn't going to trap the carpet. Let's put that there. Okay, filming from two different angles, which is interesting. I've never done this before. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to rip around the uh, seatbelt mount because it's not. It does not want to come off. So, right, let's uh, let's get to removing this. Uh, knackered old mangy carpet matting and see what presents itself underneath and i think i'm going to start from the passenger side of the car at the front yeah okay so if i get in the way of the cameras guys uh this is just how i want to film it and how you'll see it and i'll try and splice it together somehow Without further ado, oh, and I just knocked over the camera. No, I haven't. Oh, <laughs> I thought I knocked over the camera, and it's just the seat valve. Okay, some old masking sealant. There is moisture in here, and I didn't doubt that for a minute. Yep, 
Yep, the carpet's ripped. I don't think there was any choice in that. Yeah. and get some up from the driver's side. And I knew on the driver's side was going to be bad because the, uh, also the matting where you put your feet is damaged. Screws it in the uh, somewhere safe. Come on. This was due to happen at some point. Fluff, dusty. loose up until the gear lead of the handbrake even. Okay, it's loose around the handbrake. Okay, we'll step back a bit. Try to stand on the tools, even though I really shouldn't be in here. Okay, more moisture. I'm just going to move the cap this uh, camera. Okay, so there you go. The carpet is loose. Okay, I'm going to get out the driver's side and then try and remove this carpet in one piece. I still don't know what's going on under this side. I did get a slight glimpse. word. Yeah, that's in dire need of repair. And a small hole in a transmission tunnel as well. Okay, yeah. There's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do. Okay, so two more screws.
from what I can see but there 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 curves here. go right let's get probably going to get in the way here aren't I probably am it's always the way oh. <laughs> we'll be good if I plug the drill back in first time ever removing spot weld drill bit uh, spot welds never done this before in my life Okay, so I'm going to start there, see how I go. I started doing a one bit, I've no idea if I'm through or not. I haven't got the foggiest. Go a bit more on that one. Whoa, I went straight through. Hang on, what am I doing? Let's have a look under the car. Yep, it was that thin. No, you're not going to see that. Oh, how frustrating. There we go. It was that thin, it went straight through. The jacking point and the floor. So the jacking point is actually thicker than the floor currently is. But is that going to be a problem? I don't think so because um, all these uh, welds are going to be plugged when the jacking point goes back on. And this is going to be a clean sheet of metal so I can plug it from underneath. That should be interesting welding on the upside down. spot welds didn't work. I think it's going to be easier to do inside the car. Rather than out. Because I can't get the right angle. Grab the grinder. So this is a case of uh, trial and error. I 
I'm sorry TC, I don't mean to do this to you. But I've got no choice. Unfortunately just now the camera died. Um, spot welds didn't kind of do the trick so I had to use the angle grinder and cut it out. Um, so yeah, uh, this is what was inside the uh, jacking point. Yeah, all that. Probably added a bit by the grunt using the uh, tool for cutting. But yeah, for some reason it I couldn't get the spot welds to release. I got some of them off, but the metal around here is so thin there is just punching straight through. So what I'm gonna do is um, measure up the space that's now left in the bulkhead of the lower part of the bulkhead. Hello inside car. And grinder there's yeah because i've some of this is have to be cut back a bit more and yeah i need to replace that i didn't expect to be doing a jacking point as the first job but i i felt that it needed to be done because the the floor pan was so thin i mean it is really really thin excuse me But yeah, as you can see, it was it was kind of coming away there, but maybe I missed the spot welds. And the more I was trying to prise at it, the more it was just not going anywhere. And just full of, I mean, just trying to find the spot welds. Um, yeah, it's it's an interesting. Um, I mean, I looked at the dimples. You could see dimples inside the car after you'd cleaned the metal off. I mean, that one right there where it's kinked slightly, that one pinged quite nicely. But not, not many of the others did at all. So maybe I got them wrong. Um, as you can see there where I've drilled twice. That one pinged. But when I tried to lift the metal towards the next hole up, it just crumbled. And... It, um, as you can see there, it's just so swollen, it just crumbled, it just fell apart and you and just, yeah, a bit of pressure on it, it just falls apart, falls to pieces. So the plan is to um, grind away the edges here, try and keep the whole shape of it if, if I can. And yeah, then I can put in a new piece of metal into the bulkhead and then weld this original jacking point back on after I've given a damn good clean up and a paint. I mean, it's it's solid. There's nothing wrong with it, but it just needs a damn good clean up. But yeah, I wanted to do this before I did the inner sill um, because there's not a huge amount for the inner sill to connect to because there's a there's a hole here as well, and it is pretty thin metal, unfortunately. It is yeah. It's going. So I, I want to get this structurally sound redo. So that's what I'm going to do.